This is just me a quick video showing you how to set up uh, iNav with uh, firmware that's uh, built so it can uh, pipe MSP uh, info up to the DJI unit giving you OSD. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to um, rcgroups.com. There's a thread there called the Digital DJI Digital FPV System Owners. I'm going to put a link in the system. You go, uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. I think it's page 234. And some clever guy here, he came up with a fix where he took uh, a release copy, uh, I think it's 2.30 of iNav uh, hex file. And what he did was he uh, made a secondary MSP stream that mimicked the Betaflight MSP stream that um, has been working for over a month now uh, with OSD, with the, with the DJI system. So here where he's, uh, what he's doing is he's telling you here, this is uh, post number 3505. He's telling you to zip on over to a Dropbox where he has placed uh, these modified hex files for your flight controller. So you go over to his Dropbox. He's got. It looks like he's got them all pretty well covered. I happen to have here a a um, iNav. Hey, I'm sorry, Omnibus. F4 board with a DJI system. So that's what I loaded. Mine is an Omnibus F4 V3. So then you want, next thing you're going to want to do is go into iNav configurator, configurator. Again, it's got to be 2.3. Go in there. And you're going to go to Firmware Flasher. Now in this case, I've already downloaded my hex file. So I'm going to load my firmware locally. It's, it's not on the, uh, any of the releases. So I'm going to go in there. Uh, here it is right here, Omnibus F4 V3. I'm going to open that. And then, like usual, go into boot mode. and flash my firmware. Make sure you turn on full chip erase. So it's flashing. It's pretty neat the way the guys did this as quick as they did. Who knows what will happen. Maybe DJI will come out with some kind of support for it. Or maybe it will be an official release. I'm sure it will be at some point. But right now this seems to work pretty good. A couple things aren't supported with GPS. A couple little buggy things. But you know, it gets us 90% there. Okay, so now I've flashed the firmware. I'm not going to bother doing anything. I'll just come in here and make sure a couple of things are turned on. You got obviously the OSD's got to be on. And I think by default it, those things are on, but let's just check it. And yeah, OSD is on. Now, the next thing you got to do is you got to go into your CLI. And go back to your page. And what they're telling you here is you've got to type in this you got to go into CLI and do a serial command. And mine, I'm on serial port 3. So I'm going to copy that. And it's this one, it says serial 2, but that's because they start from 0. And they, they label the UR, it's 1 through 4. So it's always one less. So now I've copied that. I'm going to go back into um, my CLI. Actually, you know, I'm not going to do that just yet. I left out one thing. I got to turn on the MSP port. I'm, I, I'm not sure if I have to or not once I do the CLI, CLI command, but I'm going to. So I come in here to my ports. My port 3, I turn on MSP. I save and reboot. Okay. 
Okay, that's on. Now I go to CLI and I copy the serial 2, 209.7152. Okay, now I should have um, OSD at this point. So I'll plug my quad in first. And then I'll plug in my DJI goggles. Let them boot up. Takes them a few seconds. Don't forget to type save. Like I just did. And voila, there is our OSD now. Let's see if I can get it in there. I think you can see it. So now we have OSD for mine F. That's it. Very simple. Have fun.